Welcome to Diggs TV. Today we are at one of the most important homes in Los Angeles, the Sheets Goldstein residence. Tucked high away on a crest in Beverly Hills, the 4,500 square foot residence sits on four lushly landscaped acres and is notable for its organic, angular architecture and iconic LA views. You have for many years been very open with this home. You've let photographers, artists, filmmakers come in here and, and do their craft against this backdrop. What are some of the most famous places this house has been seen? The movie, The Big Lebowski, keeps getting reruns and more reruns. Quite a pad you got here, man. Completely unspoiled. Whoa. It's in music videos. When one music video stops running, there's a new one to replace it. There've been quite a few. Got a man, got me thinking, Shawnee ain't right. It's in fashion magazines all over the world. I ain't mad at nobody. I just wanna have your body. In 2016, James Goldstein announced that he was gifting the entire estate to Los Angeles County Museum of Art. What were some of the ideas that stimulated you to make that decision? For many years now, probably 10 years or so, I've had the decision in my mind to donate this property to some institution which would preserve it, making it open to the public, hoping to inspire good architecture in the future. James Goldstein, owner and NBA superfan, is proud to keep the home open to the next generation of architects. Architectural students oh. have been coming here. I've been opening it for architectural tours, particularly for students. Now, for people who are not so schooled in architecture or familiar with Lautner, what are some of the principles that he kept in general and that you really felt in alignment with? Minimalism was one important component. Very little clutter or unnecessary details. The home has been totally rebuilt with the original floor plan still intact. Another was the use of concrete which replaced the plaster in this house. This house was a plaster house when I bought it. The house no longer has any plaster at all. The exclusion of painting in the house. Everything is natural. The wood, the concrete, the steel. One of the most comprehensive changes which affected every room in the home was that I replaced the steel mullions around the glass windows and replaced it with frameless glass, which enhanced the indoor-outdoor continuity that is such an important facet of this house. But what troubles me in Los Angeles is that it people build homes trying to copy something from the 19th century. Los Angeles should be moving forward, not backward. And I think a place like Dubai exemplifies that kind of thinking. And I wish there were more of that in Los Angeles. Farewell for now. Join us again here soon on Diggs TV.